Elena Vacarescu's The Bard of the Dimbovitsa, Romanian folk songs collected from the peasants, unveils a rich tapestry of Romanian culture and folklore through its collection of folk songs. Published in 1891, this anthology provides a unique glimpse into the collective consciousness of the Romanian peasants, capturing their emotions, beliefs, and way of life. Vacarescu, a Romanian aristocrat with a passion for folk traditions, undertook the task of preserving these songs, ensuring that the oral heritage of her people was not lost to the sands of time. One striking feature of Vacarescu's collection is the authenticity embedded in each verse. The folk songs are not products of a sanitized, idealized version of peasant life, rather, they serve as raw, unfiltered reflections of the struggles, joys, and daily existence of the Romanian peasantry. The language used is simple yet poignant, allowing the songs to resonate with a universal human experience. This simplicity is deceptive, however, as it conceals layers of profound meaning and cultural nuances that enrich the reader's understanding of Romanian folklore. The themes explored in the folk songs are diverse, covering love, nature, death, and the struggles of rural life. Love, a central motif, is depicted in its various forms, from the blissful ecstasy of newfound affection to the poignant ache of unrequited love. Nature is not merely a backdrop but an active participant in the songs, symbolizing the interconnectedness of the peasants with their environment. Death, a constant companion in the harsh realities of rural existence, is confronted with a mixture of acceptance and defiance, reflecting the resilience of the human spirit. Moreover, the folk songs serve as a repository of cultural and spiritual beliefs. Elements of Romanian mythology and superstitions are interwoven into the verses, providing insight into the worldview of the peasants. The songs often depict a close relationship between the mundane and the supernatural, reflecting a worldview where the everyday is imbued with mystical significance. This fusion of the earthly and the ethereal not only adds depth to the narratives but also underscores the spiritual dimension inherent in the lives of the Romanian peasantry. The vivid imagery in the folk songs enhances the reader's engagement with the material. Through evocative language and sensory descriptions, Vacarescu transports the audience to the rural landscapes of Romania. The reader can almost hear the rustling of leaves, smell the earth after a rainfall, and feel the warmth of the sun on their skin. This sensory richness not only immerses the reader in the cultural milieu but also reinforces the timelessness of the themes explored in the songs. Vacarescu's role as a collector and translator is noteworthy. Her decision to present the songs in both Romanian and English allows a broader audience to appreciate the cultural heritage encapsulated in these verses. The translations, while preserving the essence of the original, also reflect Vacarescu's skill in navigating the nuances of language and cultural context. This bilingual presentation serves as a bridge between the Romanian peasants and a global readership, fostering cross-cultural understanding. In conclusion, The Bard of the Dimbovitsa stands as a testament to Elena Vacarescu's commitment to preserving the rich tapestry of Romanian folklore. The folk songs, with their authenticity, thematic depth, and vivid imagery, offer a compelling journey into the heart of Romanian peasant life. Vacarescu's role as a cultural custodian is evident, and her work continues to be a valuable resource for those seeking to explore the cultural heritage of Romania through its traditional music and storytelling.